what's up everybody i hope you're all doing well and that this video finds you all happy and healthy and eagerly anticipating the fast approaching matchup that you see here before you on the screen i know i am i don't know why i tend to make these some of these videos right before the fight but uh, we'll just call it a scheduling thing anyway last i checked gassiev was a two to one favorite according to the bookies so this is not a 50 50 fight and anybody who tells you it is all that they're really saying is that they're having a difficult time picking a winner and it's not an easy fight pick but it's not a 50 50 fight close to it but it just isn't a 50 50 fight anybody who tells you that it is and doesn't say for me they're just they're not speaking the truth i'm not saying they're lying but maybe they don't know what they're talking about not a 50 50 fight fact not an opinion fact some of you guys really need to get facts through your thick heads okay the world doesn't revolve around you it revolves around me. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyway, yeah, I'm getting hyped for the fight. So, Gassiev is a significant, but not anywhere near prohibitive favorite. So, the value play, if you believe the Cuban wins it, is with Dortico. But I wouldn't bet on this fight. Wow. I don't know. I don't feel like getting into it. Because really anyone can win, right? It could end up being a shootout. I've heard it said that Gassiev, the bookies have him as the favorite because, you know, he's Russian and the fight is in Russia. And that's all fine and good. But I also heard it said that the bookies don't believe this goes the distance in other words the bookies don't think the judges are relevant in this fight so and they're still going with Gassiev so yeah I'm not saying that there are no advantages to fighting at home but I just don't think that they're going to be all that important in this fight and what happened to all those people who were saying that Usyk was likely to get robbed against Briedis or that Briedis would get the benefit of the doubt on the cards more so than the other way around because the fight was in Latvia, his hometown, and then Usyk clearly takes at least eight rounds from Briedis and the judges, you know, give Briedis all these rounds he didn't actually win or even come close to winning and all of a sudden it's Briedis that's getting robbed when the narrative before the fight was that if anybody does, it's going to be Usyk. Man, talk about bias and inconsistency, people. Anyway. Don't think the judges are going to be relevant in this fight. The bookies don't seem to think that they will. And... Junior Dortico is promising a knockout before the fifth round. And I believe he will try to get it because he is impulsive, emotional, and it's kind of how he fights. And the longer the fight goes, the less of a chance he has of winning. So I'm going to say the fight ends before the sixth, except it's going to be Dortico get knocked out. And since he is picking the fifth, I'm going to pick the fifth round too just for the fuck of it. But it wouldn't surprise me if the fight actually went the distance because, as I said on BDA's Hangout, punchers have a tendency to sometimes make each other a little bit shy and more conservative. One good example would be Klitschko Hay, right? Anyway, and another thing about punchers is that they tend to punch themselves out. So... 
We'll see what happens. I don't anticipate this fight going past the sixth. But it wouldn't surprise me if it did. At any rate, Gassiev is going to win it. One way or another, he's going to win it. I'm picking him by a fifth round KO. Now, as far as Dortico talking trash, there's something that a lot of these fighters don't seem to understand about Eastern European culture and mentality. Talking trash, all that bravado, it's seen as very feminine and weak, okay? I don't know if you've noticed, but most of these Eastern European fighters, they don't like to talk a lot of trash. They just like to get down to business and get the job done, right? Dortico is, as I already mentioned, a very emotional fighter. He, he's got some feminine, some femininity there. He's a little bit feminine. Um, I guarantee you if, if he loses a decision, he's going to complain like a woman. So all that trash talk, all that bravado, not only is it really a sign of weakness, it's, you know, it's insecurity. It's him understanding that he's the underdog, he's up against it in this fight, and that he really has to overperform. He has to do better than what he's shown us so far in order to win this fight. And Gassiev, who, like a lot of the Eastern European fighters, doesn't care about trash talk. He understands that anything can happen in the fight. And he's, re he's more of a realist, you know what I mean? To me, Dortico is rejecting reality because the reality is that you don't know what's going to happen. You just don't. It's boxing, right? Anything could happen. So this sort of bravado... It's fake bravado because you really don't know. You could say it's confidence and that's fine. Maybe it is. But I think it's insecurity. And there's nothing wrong with a guy saying whatever the hell he wants to say. There's nothing wrong with a fighter saying that they're going to win. But sitting there promising a knockout and, and puffing yourself up and standing up on your you know, as straight as possible as you can on your toes and, and stretching your body basically to make yourself taller than you are. Um, it's a sign of weakness, man. It's a sign of a very emotional, impulsive fighter. And it's a sign of insecurity. And, and that's kind of how he fights, right? He's very emotional, very impulsive. And I think that's gonna be that's gonna be his doom in this fight because he's up against someone who's not only more precise, he's more measured, more calculated, and he waits for his opportunity. He doesn't like to punch through your guard. You know, he wants that guard to be out of the way. He wants to have an opening before he really commits to shots, whereas Dortico is a stupid boxer. He just punches at you for the sake of punching at you, right? He doesn't really set his punches up. He doesn't care if your hands are up or not. He's just going to go all out, kind of like Amir Khan, right? He's, he's a stupid boxer. He's not, he's not a very intelligent boxer. Um, so, and you know, if me saying that hurts your feelings, then so be it. Tell me why, tell me why I'm wrong. No need to get into your feelings. Tell me, tell me why I'm wrong. Anyway, you know, when you look at these guys' records, and it really seems to me like a lot of people have not watched much of Dortico. It's crazy because I don't ever remember before this tournament, I don't remember, I'm not saying there haven't been any, but I don't remember a single YTBC video talking about any of Dortico's fights, ever, right? And now I'm hearing people saying that, you know, even though he got knocked down against Kalenga, he came back to win the fight. And I'm sorry. And I've heard many people say this. Maybe three or four people say that he got knocked down in that fight, which leads me to believe they did not watch the fight. 
I question, I question how much people have watched Dortico because when when I listen to these prediction videos, it would seem that according to YTBC, Dortico is a slight favorite. And reading these comments, it would seem that more people think a significant significantly larger number bigger number of people think that Dortico is going to win this fight and that's weird seeing as Gassiev is the more should be the more popular fighter right he's had more fights that have been televised more high profile fights against better level of opposition you would think that he should be the more popular fighter right nobody was talking about Dortico until this tournament Gassiev was being talked about quite a bit so, I question how much people have actually watched Dortico, and I question um, a lot of these predictions. But it is what it is, man. I'm not saying that picking Dortico, I mean, you're biased or anything like that, or there, there's anything wrong with picking him, because he could very well win this fight, you know, even though it's not a 50-50 fight. It's not a mismatch either, right? He could definitely win this fight. But when you look at the level at which they fought, you know, it, it becomes clear that Gassiev is by far the more proven fighter. Dortico went life and death with Kalenga, and I meant to look at that fight, but I figured, hey, what's the point, man? Anyone could, you know, turn that fight on and, and see what's happening. And what's happening is Kalenga landing on Dortico and teeing off on Dortico at will, right? There really wasn't that much to break down in that fight. And me playing it on my channel, you know, it wouldn't have... The people that watched the fight and didn't draw their conclusions from that fight, it wouldn't have convinced them... Otherwise, if they're already picking Dortico, despite the fact that a guy like Kalenga was landing on him at will. Almost closed his eye up, right? Hurt him numerous times. And I believe had a very comfortable lead going into the final round. I think the 10th round when the fight was stopped, right? He was outboxing him. He, he was hurting him. Now, Dortico, to be fair had better punch technique. He he knows how to punch better than Kalenga and his he made his punches count and he busted Kalenga up, knocked him down, and was able to hurt him more so than the other way around. He was just the more technically sound puncher. Because his punch technique is better, his punches were stronger, more concussive and they did their damage over ten rounds. They accumulated, and he was able to force the stoppage. But, you know, he stopped him on, on his feet after landing a barrage of punches. So, all that to say that he's not very hard to hit and that he's never shown one-punch knockout power against anybody, you know, credible. Gassiev has. So to hear people saying that Dortico hits harder, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. You know, but he was getting outboxed by Kalenga, a guy that's what, had like three, was three or four inches shorter, had a seven inch reach disadvantage. Kalenga did, and was able to tee off on Dortico. Meanwhile, I got people like Low Place, and now there's telling me how Dortico is going to use his reach advantage against Gassiev, who's only what? His arms are only like four inches shorter or so? If Kalenga is teeing off on you and you have a seven inch reach advantage, are you really someone who controls distance? Like, do people really watch these fights, man? It's crazy to me. That's why, that's why I keep talking about the Cuban fetish, because the, the shit that people say, it just does, it, it's never happened. It just doesn't happen. I'm not saying it can't. There's always that possibility that Dortico is going to control range 
against Gassiev, but he's never done it. So why would I say he, he will now? Anyway, you know, so he was losing the fight against Kalenga, but Kalenga can't punch, and by that I mean he just doesn't have good punch technique. He's not a very good puncher. He doesn't hit very hard, and he just can't punch very well, right? And Dortico can punch a lot better. So he was getting schooled and beaten up by Kalenga, actually, but was able to stop him eventually, and so kudos to him. But, but, but from a you know, technical standpoint, Kalenga was better. Even though Dortico had better punch technique, and maybe he's just stronger, I don't know. Technically, Kalenga was better than Dortico and was outboxing him and winning the fight comfortably before the stoppage. And that's Kalenga, and that Kalenga won maybe three rounds against Lebedev, right? Lebedev comfortably beat him, outboxed him very comfortably. And Gassiev beat Lebedev clearly. So when you start talking about levels, even though you have to say Dortico is better than Kalenga, he's still more or less on that level, right? Yeah, he did beat him, but he's still in that, on that same level, in that group of, of fighter, right? B, C, whatever you want to call it. Whereas Lebedev showed clearly that he's on another level to a guy like Kalenga and Gassiev beating Lebedev, I wouldn't say that he's on another level to Lebedev because the fight was competitive and close, but he's on that Lebedev level, whereas Dortico is on the Kalenga level. So, if you come to grips with that reality, you really have to find something in Dortico's game that's much better than Gassiev's game or holes in Gassiev's game that Dortico's abilities and tendencies can exploit, right? You, you gotta, you basically, you're looking for a loophole here. You know, and unless you can find that loophole there, you're bending over backwards to make the underdog a favorite. And that generally doesn't work out well. Not saying he can't win, not saying there's anything wrong with picking him. I'm just not seeing how he wins. There, there, are, there are ways he can win, don't get me wrong. There, there is a way he can win. He's going to have to back Gassiev up, right? But if, if you got Kalenga backing you up for long stretches of the fight, not saying that he didn't back Kalenga up because he did also, but if, if you're basically, as far as backing up goes, you go even Steven with a guy like Kalenga, you're on that level, and Gassiev, even though he's on the level of Lebedev, more or less, but that's, as we've already established, another level to someone like Kalenga or Dortico, a level higher. Gassiev, if he was able to back up Lebedev, who really is on that level, and Dortico wasn't really able to back up and not in the same way. Kalenga. Then how's he gonna be backing up Gassiev consistently? He he'd have to do it consistently. I'm not saying he's not gonna back him up because I think he will here and there, but it's not gonna be the type of backing up where you hit somebody and they go reeling backwards, right? Like what Usyk was doing to Briedis. Gassiev is going to be taking steps back and getting out of range because Dortico is kind of gung-ho and once he throws the jab, the right hand follows. So you just got to not be there. So you're going to see Gassiev stepping out of range and changing the angle and then, then it's going to be his, his turn to punch, right? Because Dortico can't just throw punches non-stop. No one can. And if I'm looking at Dortico just sitting there 
and letting Kalenga tee off on him and Kalenga getting through and legitimately backing him up with combinations, punching through that guard, I know Gassiev is going to be able to do the same thing, except Gassiev is a very hard puncher. So, I don't know, man. And look, Gassiev is not perfect. Don't get me wrong. He does open himself up. He, his defense could be better. But he's shown very good defense so far and much better defense than Dortico. You know, you, you have to be able to tell me that in, in this sort of confrontation where one guy has proved to have a much better defense, there's no question about that. Chin tucked, you know, he has proved to have much better defense and punches at the very least just as hard but you'd have to give him the benefit of the doubt seeing as he is knocking people out cold and he is putting world class fighters down with you know one punch but even if you you're saying he hits just as hard as Dortico right I'm okay with that you know if if, if you got these guys that where where one guy has much better defense than the other guy and they punch about they both punch hard enough to knock the other one out, right? What and and they're both they both excel at coming forward and they don't do very well going backwards. How are you picking the guy with the, the poorest defense? The guy that comes out of his fights all swollen up and, and gets hurt in his fight. Why are you picking him? You must be telling me that Gassiev has no chin, right? That Gassiev can't go 12 rounds. That, that Gassiev is just going to mentally crack. Or what are you telling me? Or are you just telling me that Dortico is going to catch him with the lucky punch? And, and all of that could happen. But I'm just not... I don't pick fights on, based on lucky punches. And just because a guy's never really been chin checked, you know, you got to look at, you can't just assume that he has a weak chin, right? And if you start looking at how or why it is that he hasn't been chin checked, namely tight guard, hands up, chin, chin tucked, you know, and, and he doesn't sit there and let you tee off on him. And I, I'm really struggling to see what it is that Dortico does to beat this guy. Now, again, there is a way for him to win, and that's to just keep throwing punches and keep backing Gassiev up. Keep punching and punching and punching till he finally gets through and is able to, to stop him. Or just keep punching nonstop and just win rounds on activity and don't get knocked out. He can win like that. He can but Gassiev's punching power is no joke. His defense is better. You have to give him the punching edge here. You really do. I don't know what people are looking at saying that Dortico hits harder. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's all fine and good to sit there and say that knocking out someone like Shimo with one punch, eh, well, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have great punching power, right? I mean, who is Shimo? I get that even though he completely disconnected the guy from his senses, right? Okay, fine. But then how do you ignore the fact that Dortico went 10 rounds with a middleweight in Miranda who has been stopped, uh, uh, you know, at every way he fought? Multiple times. So you really have to like bend over backwards and ignore facts, maybe embellish others. You really have to, I don't see how you make an unbiased prediction, well-informed, unbiased prediction that has Dortico winning the fight. I don't, I don't see it. I'm not saying he can't win. I'm just not. I'm not hearing anybody tell me how he does it. it. It's very interesting. I've listened to a lot of predictions, 
And I think more people are picking Dortico, but no one's really told me how he beats them. It's crazy. I think he would have to outwork them and just keep punching at them till he he makes his punches till his punches finally have an effect on Garcia, right? I, I think that's how he wins the fight if he does. But seeing as, again, Gassiev doesn't allow you to tee off on him, and Dortico does, I have a hard time seeing that sort of game plan come into fruition, being successful, Dortico being successful with that kind of game plan. And another thing is that Garcia went 12 rounds with a world-class, you know, Lebedev, a guy that's more than proved himself in the division. And Dortico's never been 12 rounds. So if the fight is tough and grueling and it goes rounds, why would I pick the the fleshy guy who... Doesn't look like he trains as hard as he should. Why would I pick him? Now I know it's genetics and, and some people just... He might just be like that, right? But, you know, boxing, especially with these close fights, it's a game of inches. Every little bit counts. And I'm sorry, but Dortico's uh, love handles, they don't inspire confidence against a huge body puncher. They just don't. And... And I don't know what they were doing in that way and why it took them so long to to read out um, Dortico's weight when they're just as tall. Gassiev has the bigger bone structure, right? He's um, He has the much bigger head, for example. I'm going to assume he has bigger hands. He's just a thicker dude, right? And Dortico is more, has more of a skinny, he's a skinny tall guy more so than Gassiev, who's built more like Canelo, right? I'm going to, I'm going to have to assume that, you know, if they were, if Dortico were in tip, tip, tip top shape, he should have easier time making the weight, but it seemed like. He didn't. You know what I mean? He doesn't, to me, he doesn't look like as thick of a guy. And yet he came in heavier. And that's probably because, you know, he's not in as good of a shape as, as he should be. And that could be because he's never had to go 12 rounds. He, and I'm not saying he was gassing in the Kalenga fight, but he was taking a lot of breaks. Which which is what allowed, and that fight went 10 rounds, I believe. And that allowed Kalenga to basically just tee off on him. And maybe that's why he was getting hurt. Because his stamina is not as good as it can be. So, I struggle. I struggle to see how Dortico wins this fight unless he exposes the fact that Gassiev doesn't have a very good chin. Or... He just cracks him with a really good punch, perfect punch early and is able to put him down and, and keep him there, right? But these are, these sort of lucky punches, um, wishful thinking scenarios, you know, that's not anything I would put my money on. And trust me, guys, I've sat there and I've watched the tape and I've analyzed both of these guys and... It was a little bit difficult at first, but the more the more I analyzed the fight, the more I watched it, the more I think that this is Gassiev's fight to lose, and it really wouldn't surprise me if he made short work of Dortico. I see him as the more proven fighter, technically better fighter, better defense, better footwork, faster, he is faster, just because he throws some of his punches slowly, that's, 
there's a reason for that, you know what I mean? But when he really wants to throw full speed, he's significantly faster than Dortico. He has better punch technique. He hits harder, right? He He's more explosive. When he wants to be, he's more explosive than Dortico. And he's just a smarter fighter, right? He doesn't just sit there and let you tee off on him. He has better footwork. He's lighter on his feet. I'm hearing all these people saying how Dortico's lighter on the... No, he's not. He, his movements are more exaggerated. But he's not lighter on his feet. He's a very plodding fighter. Gassiev doesn't bounce. But he's actually a lot lighter on his feet. He does bounce a little bit. But to me, it looks like he's lighter on his feet. He cuts the ring off better. He just has better footwork. You know, they're just as tall. Dortico has a slight reach advantage, but he doesn't maintain that sort of game plan throughout any any of his fights that I've seen. So I have to pick Gassiev, guys. I think he wins this fight, and I think he wins it by knockout. And that's my video.